What inspires change? What motivates us? It's what's inside that moves us. What moves you? Get the Scion story at scion.com. The Rotary Club of Guam's guest speaker was medical marijuana proponent Dr. Chris Dombrowski. Dr. Dombrowski ran for senator in 2001 with the legalization of marijuana as one of his platform points. Dr. Dombrowski, who was seen in the local media regularly for his stance on marijuana, has been relatively quiet on the issue for years now, but he agreed to speak to the Rotary Club of Guam today as a favor for Rotarian Phil Flores. As a favor, I'm not doing this for the community, for any of my patients, because my license is up for renewal next month, and I want to keep my license. Dr. Dombrowski says that medical marijuana could replace many of the drugs he currently prescribes to his patients. I would say in my practice as a general practitioner, family practitioner, 10 to 15 percent of my patients would do well on cannabis. I would use cannabis the same way that other physicians utilize the benzodiazepines, Xanax, Valium, Paxil, Prozac, Cymbalta. Cannabis is used as an anti-anxiety agent for relaxation, for muscle spasticity, for, as an antidepressant, uh, insomnia. It's also being used as, uh, for ADHD. One complaint from doctors is that they don't know how much to prescribe. However, Dr. Dombrowski points out that marijuana can be prescribed in incremental doses, and if the patient waits for a half hour and does not experience any effects, they can then take some more. Also, there is no documented case of anyone dying from a marijuana overdose. Another concern that is often brought up is whether or not smoking cannabis is bad for the lungs. There's evidence of cannabis being an anti-mutagenic, protecting against brain cancer and breast cancer, and also to protect against Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Dr. Dombrowski says it could be good for hypertension and lowering blood pressure as well. Because it causes so much relaxation, for somebody who had hypertension, I would recommend it to somebody who had hypertension, along with extra virgin olive oil or any other organic or herbal remedies. Meanwhile, Senator Tina Munya Barnes says her Resolution 201, which supports the legalization of medical marijuana and the decriminalization of marijuana, is receiving overwhelming support, and she's still accepting comments up until the end of the month. We have a preliminary draft that's on the table right now, but we may want to do a two or three prong approach, uh, but we'd like to see what the community has to say. So until uh, the end of the month and even into the first week, we should have a finalized bill by the second week of October. Dr. Dombrowski is in full support of legalizing cannabis. In fact, he thinks the entire war on drugs is futile. If prohibition didn't work for alcohol, why would they think it would work for anything else? And I've been asking that question for over 40 years. And all I get is that deer in the headlight look.